Hello guys, John Cox, Master Cartoonist again. I am currently in my garage, and I've always wanted to do a video like this. I'm, I'm going to teach you guys how I film my cartoons, specifically the uh, multi-panel cartoons, which, uh, as you can clearly see, I got two of them right here. We're not going to use this one because it's way too long. Uh, it'll take more time. But let's demonstrate with this one. So what I would normally do with this kind of cartoon, a six panel or five panel or whatever, this kind of cartoon, which is a She Stooges cartoon, of course, I like to uh, get the title first and then very gradually I'll try to film each frame and uh, I try to give you guys at least five or ten seconds to read the speech balloons for yourselves but of course I strongly encourage you all to hit the pause button if you need to because most of my picture presentations do tend to go by pretty fast. Only because I'm a quick pace kind of guy. Realistically, what I would do is I would pause and unpause each footage of each frame. And then do the next one. And then the next one. And then the next one. And so on, so on. And then oftentimes, if the cartoon is just the right size, just as in this case, I like to try to uh, get a good shot of the entire comic, the entire uh, multi-panel comic, replete with the title. And this is what's known as an encore shot, basically. I can do it with this She Stooges cartoon because it's only five panel. I cannot do it with this kind, which is 11 panel. It's, you see, it's way too long. I can't do that clearly without getting something else in the shot, which I try to avoid. So yeah. And then pictures like these that only require one shot, uh, they're pretty easy. But one exception is um, when I do the Mind Bailey pictures. You see, I don't just film the Mind Bailey pictures in one shot. First of all, I have to film the back because that's where the title is. I need to make sure the title is in the video just to give context. And then, at, at, while I got the camera paused, I flip the picture around, and then I film the picture itself. And that's basically how I film my uh, picture presentations. I hope you all found this semi-useful. And I thank you all for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, comment, and... If there's any YouTubers I've done fan art of that you like, please subscribe to them too. Thanks for watching.